You can save money, packed weight, or both with the Flip Fuel fuel transfer device for canisters. Let's review this little piece of gear. Hi everyone, I'm Jason. I had three 227 gram and two 110 gram canisters of fuel that had too little fuel in them for me to be willing to take them on a trip. So they were just sitting there. It's hard for me to take three or five ounces of metal packaging for a couple of ounces or even less of fuel on an alpine climb. It also means that for at least some trips, I was buying new canisters even though I had unused fuel sitting around. Each 227 gram canister is about $7. Well, if I avoid buying five of those canisters, I've paid for, at least at the time of this recording, the flip fuel transfer device. To use it, you place the canister that you want to add fuel to in your freezer for five minutes. You place the canister that you want to take fuel from in the sun for five minutes. You then make sure the valve is closed, screw the cold receiving canister to the bottom where it says in, screw the warm donating canister to the top, where it says out, and now open the valve. Cold fuel condenses and warm fuel expands. That differential flows the fuel. The hissing will die down as the transfer completes. The transfer times can be counted in seconds to minutes. You should be aware of the potential to overfill the receiving canister. So it'd be a good idea to know the weight of a full canister of the same brand as you are filling. You can then weigh your refilled canister periodically throughout the process and make sure you have not gone over the fuel weight capacity. Besides saving money, this device also provides the option to better customize your fuel amounts for a trip. If you're going to need a lesser amount of fuel, you can transfer fuel from a larger canister to a smaller one. When doing this, overfilling becomes even more likely, so I take care to weigh the canister every few seconds throughout the transfer. You can combine the money-saving benefits with the weight-saving benefits by buying more cost-effective 450-gram canisters and then downsizing to the smaller canisters for your trip. A 450-gram canister runs about 75% of the cost of a 227-gram canister per gram of fuel, and less than half the cost per gram of fuel compared to the 110-gram options. Like you hear me say about everything in climbing and the outdoors, though, there are no perfect solutions, so here are a couple of the things to keep in mind. Do this in a ventilated place. It smells a bit. Exchanging different brands of fuel with different mixes may change your stove performance. It is unlikely that you will get a perfect transfer where all the donor canisters magically match up to fill the receiving canister's capacity. It is also difficult to completely empty your donor canisters. You may want to consider how many times you are willing to reuse a non-reusable canister. And you are playing with something that is highly flammable and under pressure. Also, exchanging fuel across canisters is a concept that has been around for a while, and Flip Fuel isn't the first or only brand out there. There are several. Worth it? Not worth it? What do you think about exchanging fuel across canisters? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, do all the things. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com or maybe check out this video on three tactics for staying warm in a winter camp or browse this playlist full of videos related to life in camp. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.